Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can access any Netflix library from anywhere in the world using ExpressVPN. And this is really simple. It doesn't take a lot of know-how at all. You don't have to be like a tech person or no computers in order to be able to do this. It's really easy. All you'd have to do is get ExpressVPN. So basically go to their website and pick a plan and sign up. And then once you have an account, you go into the page that says set up on your device. You pick Windows or whichever computer you have, if it's a Mac, and then you're going to get an activation code right here. So then you go and download the ExpressVPN app. And then when you're asked, you just paste in this activation code over here or over here. It's the same thing. And then you're good to go. You're going to have the app ready. And I'll be sure to include a link that will take you to the page that you need to get to in order to download ExpressVPN. And that link will actually save you some extra money as well. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But once you have ExpressVPN up and ready to go, all you have to do is choose this location bar, click on it, and you're going to have this window. Now you're going to get into a bunch of different countries. ExpressVPN, as of now, has a hundred different countries with a lot of different servers, a few thousand servers. And once you do that, you're just going to click on whichever country it is that you want to access that Netflix library. So let's say I wanted to access the Netflix library in the UK. I can just click on United Kingdom, click on the connection button here or here. I was already connected, so it automatically just shifted over to a server or basically a connection in the UK. And then I just have to go back to Netflix over here. So let's go back and you see here it says top 10 movies in the US today. So now that I'm connected up to a server in the UK, I'm just going to refresh the page and you're going to see that this is going to change instead of saying top 10 movies in the US today. I'm just going to scroll down over here. You could already see how things the page has changed a little bit. Now it says top 10 TV shows in the UK today. So basically using ExpressVPN, I've connected up to a server, a computer in the UK. Now, when I went to Netflix, it thought that that's where I was. And it gives me access to the entire UK library of all their content that they offer there, all the TV shows and movies. And this would work not just for the UK, but really any country where you can get Netflix, you can use ExpressVPN and access that content. So if I wanted to, I could do it for Japan. I could do it for India and a lot of other countries. Just one thing that I've noticed that might be useful. I found that it's best to first sign into Netflix without the VPN connected. And then once you're already in your account, then you connect up to the VPN and then go back into Netflix and refresh the page. I've just found that it works better in terms of the login, because sometimes when you try to log in and the VPN is already connected, Netflix doesn't like that so much. They see that you're trying to log in with a VPN and you might get an error message or need to like verify your account or maybe even get locked out of your account in like a worst case scenario. So I find it's just better to avoid all that by first logging into your account and then connecting up to the VPN, then going back into Netflix and refreshing the page. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you want to find out more about ExpressVPN or some of my other top recommended VPNs, such as NordVPN or Surfshark, I'll be sure to leave more information about them, including full reviews in the description below. Just in general, Surfshark is what I would say is more like a budget VPN. It is the best value. You're going to get the most features and a really, really good VPN at a really cheap price. NordVPN, in my opinion, is the best VPN in terms of the features. It's a lot to go into, so check out that full review. If if you want to find out more, but there is just a lot you can do with NordVPN and just a lot of flexibility. If you are tech savvy and you want to be able to get a lot out of a VPN, NordVPN can do that for you. And lastly, ExpressVPN is what I would say is the best all around go to kind of VPN. It's designed to be very simple, very easy to use and very fast. And you're going to get very stable connections with it as well. So personally, when I'm streaming content on Netflix, when I'm doing this kind of thing, I like to use ExpressVPN. I find it's just easy. It's quick and it's just simple. So personally, if you're looking for a VPN for streaming on Netflix, I would definitely check out ExpressVPN. And besides for full reviews, I'll also include those discount links for not just Express, but for all these VPNs that will save you some extra money on them. And they all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can just check them out. If you don't like it, you can cancel. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.